Hey there, Capricorn. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Capricorn, the Cross Watcher, anybody that's drawn here. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. If none of this hits home, just try a different message. I'm going to do a Celtic Cross spread with the Everyday Witch Tarot. See what comes up for Cappy. Oh, already. Current energy, the King of Cups. What's that? Knight of Cups and Eight of Swords. Okay, so I feel like the current energy is Knight of Cups. You are very much in your heart space right now. Very gentle, very genuine, very kind, very... Um, you could actually be experiencing some emotions. Men out there, you might be wondering, why do I have just random tear come down out of nowhere? Did I get something in my eye? There is a part of your soul that is... Oh... You've been through a lot to get to where you are. So your soul is every now and then crying happy tears because you're finally here. You're finally in this space where you can be so open hearted. I do feel like there's an apology coming in. Somebody feels like they can't forgive themselves or they can't move forward without saying they're sorry directly to you. Try to be open, and I think that's that's why they're coming in, because energetically you are open to at least hear them out. I'm not saying you have to let them back in your life. I'm not even saying that you have to accept their apology or give them, you know, you know, I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying hear them out. Hear them out. Anyways, moving on. What is the incoming energy? Because that was more of a side note. Five of Cups and Six of Pentacles. See, and I think that's what it is. Like once upon a time, you felt like nothing was working. Things were falling apart. But you still have two cups up right behind you. Just because these cups spilled doesn't mean you can't clean them off and refill them. You can. And I think that's why the Six of Pentacles is here. Like a reminder. Hey, you can pick yourself back up. You can bounce back from this. You might even come back stronger, healthier, richer, with more friends. If not friend, why friend shaped? Sorry, I got, um, oh, you can kind of see her. <laughs> She's so cute. Cinnamon, cinnamon. All right, so what is in the foundation? Ooh, lots. Information, news, updates, need to know, need to know, do you know where you're going, going to? Ten of Cups. Do you like the things that life is showing you? Now you're going to, do you know? Or... You're in this King of Cups energy and you're thinking of, oh, okay, maybe in the past you were a little bit reckless. We've all had a time where we were not living in our divine energies. Um, so that apology might actually be you. You might just be apologizing through the ethers though. You know what I mean? Some of you might be in a, oh. Cappy, that's a big one. Some of you are accepting an apology that you never received. When I say you're powerful, <laughs> when I say you are in your heart space, that's the kind of shit I mean. Four of Pentacles in the recent past. You've been holding on. You've been holding on. You've been keeping stuff to yourself. Some of you have been saving up for the right time. That's what I'm hearing, for the right time. Yeah, patiently waiting, just sitting on funds, information. Um, I feel like it's time. Now it's time. Somebody could be popping the question too. That that could be another thing. Um, I'm just saying it's here. What's crowning? 
What's crowning for Capricorn? Please and thank you, God. The star. How's that song go? Um, Take me to the moon. Wanna be with the stars. More divine healing. Somebody could actually be well known, or maybe this is you. Well known. As above, so below, so within, so without. I love how a lot of people only say half of that. They don't say the full thing. But that's the full thing. Um, you keep wishing upon a star because something's about to come true. Near future is the world card. This is a fixed energy. You're closing up cycles. You're ending chapters. I think you're a part of the group of us that are, um, I say us because I'm, I'm also a part of it, Libra. I think it's the Cardinals are wrapping up six, seven, and ten year cycles, chapters. We've really learned our lessons here. You are a part of this. I can see that here. Um, and it's a fixed energy. So if you've touched Moldavite recently or if you have ho'oponopono recently or if you have done an egg cleanse or um, there's a bunch of different things you could have done to clear out negative energy, don't be surprised when the, egg, when the negative energy goes because it's it will. It will. Some of it goes on its own. I think you already took care of the physical that you needed to take care of, but now the rest of it is going to take care of itself. Does that make sense? Because that's what I'm getting here. What is the blockage for Capricorn? Please and thank you, Spirit. Blockage for Cappy. Wanna be with the stars? What is the, thank you. Taking the bait, caving in, doing the things you know you shouldn't be doing. I'm actually hearing, um, obsessive traits, um, bad habits. Bad habits. There's something about excessive. Oh, that's one of the seven deadly sins. Gluttony. Don't tell me you're up against one of those. Jesus fucking Louise. No wonder you are out here making some moves. Y'all were fighting some big fucking battles. That's why. Yeah. And the divine views you as eight of cups. Walking away from the things you need to. The rest will walk itself out the door. Except you're the magical one that actually got the cups to stay standing. Every other deck, like three of these cups are, are falling over. You can't get them to stack for some reason. You did. And then you still walked away. It's like you found a way to make something work. But then you're like, I got to let this go. And you, you do. You end up letting it go anyways. It was hard. It wasn't easy. But you did it. What's the goal? Thank you. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you're, you're weighing out your options here. You're weighing out your options, and really, you're just trying to make the best decision that you can. Just keep doing that, because I, I feel like you're already, you're already very much doing exactly that, except on a, a very high level. Now I'm hearing the word um, appropriate. It's like you want to make sure that you're going by things appropriately. You're doing it, handling it in an appropriate manner. I'm also hearing dedication. 
and key. You have a key. You have a key. What's the outcome for Capricorn? Please and thank you, Spirit, God. What's that? Oh, wow. Queen of Cups to the King of Cups. So this could have something to do with romance. I was not picking that up at all. My bad. I'm sure you would have already been interpreting my description that way. So just go ahead and do that. But um, Seven of Swords and Temperance. It's almost like somebody was laying low, quietly behind the scenes, working on themselves. But I think now you're ready to come on out. You might still be a little defensive about it. You might be a little bit, I don't know. I don't know. It's because you got comfortable. That's part of the, that's part of the new phase. New things. You're so protected. Like you are so protected that you can do what you need to do next. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm also getting uh, somebody wanting to talk to you or you wanting to talk to someone, but there could be blocking going on here. And all oh, that might be why you're doing things through the ethers, right? So that weird apology is just through the ethers because there's some kind of blocking um, physically, like blocking on social media and stuff like that. Anyways, this is what I have. I hope this helps. Who it needs to, how it needs to. I love yous, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.